going crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you felt something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, Good morning everybody It's Saturday morning um, I've just got up And I thought um, you spend the day with me today um, It's fairly early Or I think it's around 8ish Um I thought I would try and get a little bit of cleaning done this morning because it gets quite hot in sort of the afternoon um, and I'm not cleaning in this heat. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try and get a little bit of cleaning done. Um, I need to get some washing loads done. But I thought um, we could maybe have a chat while I get ready. Um, I'm not really going to put on much makeup today. I've just got some Factor 50 tinted moisturiser I'm just going to put on. Um, I'm really trying to look after my skin. I've said before, I've got these patches, which is obviously like sun damage. You can see them there. I just really don't want to make them any worse. Um, so yeah, I'm putting on Factor 50 in the hope that it won't get any worse really so yeah i'm just gonna put a bit of moisturizer on a bit of concealer and a bit of um mascara and then that'll be me good to go um really given a proper introduction if you're new here hello my name is lisa um and if you are returning thank you so much for coming back so i'm just gonna pop on some of my concealer i can't even remember who that's made by actually is it maybelline i'm not sure um yeah we've got um a couple of weeks left now until our holiday which i am super excited about I keep coming out in little spots at the moment and i'm not really a spotty person and it's not that time of the month so i don't really know what's going on um yeah sorry we've got a holiday in a few weeks what date no it's actually it's about a month away um, and I am just so excited to get away. I am, like I said, going to try and film some. Um, I don't know how much because obviously my kids don't really want to be in videos and my husband definitely not. Um, oh, I think I've got my, um, I think I've got that in my eye now because my eye's stinging. Uh, yeah, obviously film the back of their heads and things like that and maybe, um, you know, them in the pool, things like that. Sorry, I'm over here because I'm using the mirror. Um, so yeah, I am going to film and I'll do my best to see what I can get. We have been there twice before, so this will be our third time going. So it's quite nice actually, we know the area, we know what's there. There's a few, um, quite a few shopping malls close by. So we always go shopping. Um, my husband, well actually and me, we're not really kind of, I like to get a tan, but I prefer to do it in the pool. Um, I'm not really a sun worship person, I don't, oh my eyes stinging so bad. Um, oh, I don't really like sitting out in the sun. That's just not, I don't know, it makes you feel quite panicky. Um, which I know sounds really silly. I kind of manage maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes in it. And then I've got to get in the pool. Which is fine because obviously you still catch a tan in the pool. 
so yeah we'll be in the pool a lot but um we also like to go out and about and do things so like i said there's a few malls close by um we did find a um market last time in the local town but it was the last time we went it was rammed absolutely rammed and this was pre-covid so i doubt we'll be going to that to be honest with you because it wasn't that great the prices were quite high um i'd say higher than like the shopping malls really um and oh sorry and i'm not really willing to spend loads more than what it would be in a supermarket or a shopping mall uh and i'm not into all the classic like uh you know spanish leathers or anything like that so yeah i don't we'll go to that to be honest with you um but yeah, I will film as much as possible because I'd like a holiday vlog for my own memories as well. Um, I'm just going to spritz some of my spray. I think I'm going to go for the Hollister um, coconut water and pineapple today. It's lush. My two favourites actually are that one. And this is probably my ultimate favourite, uh, the Paradise which is pink watermelon and juicy citrus that is my ultimate favorite i don't tend to wear actual perfume that much um i tend to be a bit of a body spray person and i always get loads of compliments whenever i wear it so i'm presuming that it's quite strong and that it lasts quite a while I'm just going to try and put some hair grips in my hair because I always get these little flyaways. Actually, now I've got this new product that I've not actually used. Got to be, it's like um, it's like a mascara wand. If I can get it open, I've not actually used this yet. Oh, and then you literally just do your flyaways. So I'm going to do it in the mirror. Oh, that's really, really good. I always get here these flipping flyaways. I might have to do my ponytail again. Um, yeah, and they just like end up hanging down and they drive me insane. And actually at the nape of my neck, so... Oh God, there's loads of flyaways at the back. Let's see whether I can do that. I think I'm gonna have to definitely do my ponytail again. It's the only thing, it kind of catches the hair and then pulls it out. That's actually a really good product. I think some of you are interested because you've asked, but yeah, just a little bit more about me, my background. Um, so I've been married now since 2004. So what is that for? We are now two, so that's 18 years, I think. 18 years we've been married. Um, and I met my husband in 2001. I was a single mum to um my eldest daughter at the time um yeah that was a very 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 abusive relationship that i was in with my daughter's sperm donor i don't even a title of um dad or father figure nothing like that he was literally a sperm donor. Um, yeah, so that was a really, really abusive relationship that really kind of like damaged my trust. I'm just going to use a little bit of this 8-Hour Miracle Hydrating Mist just to kind of put out my face 
Oh, that's so refreshing. Um, yeah, I got out of that relationship. Well, I got out. He threw me out when I was... Um, I think I was about five, six weeks pregnant. He threw me out. Um, best thing he actually ever did because I probably would have stayed in that abusive relationship. Um, and then I was a single mum for many years and I met my husband just before my daughter was four. Um, and yeah, he took on my daughter. Um, she very quickly wanted to call him dad. Um, it was a very speedy relationship. So uh, I met him and that this might sound really, really, really corny, but um, that first night I met him, um, I knew he was basically the one, which I know sounds quite dramatic, but I do definitely believe in love at first sight. And for me, it, yeah, it was completely love at first sight. I knew I was going to marry him. I knew I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. Um, he moved in after two weeks and then we tried for our son when we'd been together six months. So it was very, very quick. Um, but yeah, I just... Should we have a chat in the bathroom? <laughs> but yeah, I just I just knew that um, I was going to spend the rest of my life with him and I knew that it was reciprocated. Is that how you say it? I think it is. Uh, yeah, so he moved in after two weeks. We tried for Ethan after six months, got pregnant on the second month. Um, and then we moved into a bigger house and yeah, we rented for many years because we couldn't um, afford a deposit on a house. And then we entered um, like a scheme where they put down a percentage. That was our first house. And then we've had, so this is our third house since that scheme, we paid off the scheme and uh, we took a leap of faith moving here to where we are now. Um, yeah, I've missed out where I actually met my husband. So I was out, we are going literally <laughs> in all directions today, but uh, just go with it. Let's, let's backtrack. So actually, when I met him, so I was actually out on my birthday. It was a birthday night out. Um, I was out with my friends. It was kind of like a really boring night. I wouldn't really say that I'm a drinker, a clubber, anything like that. Um, but being a single parent, it was the only time and like opportunity I got to get out. <laughs> So yeah, went out with my friends, um, I was really bored. I said that I was gonna go soon because you know, it wasn't a particularly great night. And I literally walked into him. I turned around to walk out and walked into him. Um, kind of almost fell into him. So my hands landed on his chest, which back then he was very muscly. Um, he made a joke, but obviously now I know he's got a dry sense of humour. So at the time, his joke, I thought he was being serious and I thought I'd really offended him. And then literally saw each other every single day um, and have done ever since, really. So apart from like nights when he's been away working or like on my little trip away just recently. Um, yeah, we've been together all the time. Um, he does work funny hours, so it's not like we live in each other's pockets, which is probably really good. Um, 
One thing I will say is that we are quite opposite, I'd say, in a lot of things. Um, we don't share the same interest in a lot of things, music, things like that. But um, I will say that it must be that opposites attract and you don't always need to have something in common with somebody in order for something to work. So, yeah. So that's a bit of background, <clears throat> excuse me, about me and my husband. But, so I'm going to crack on now. I'm going to grab some washing loads um, and I'm going to try and get as much housework as I can done before it heats up because at the moment it's really cool. So yeah, let's crack on. Oh, look what I come out to outside my bedroom door. And she normally rolls over so you can, oh, maybe not this morning. She normally rolls over so you can rub her tummy. Hello, Bimbers. Hello. You bush your girl. Her name's Bindi, but in our house, everybody has nicknames for everything. So we call her Bimbers, Bindi Boo, Bindi Bix. Yeah. Excuse this. I need to vacuum all up here. I need to get rid of that rubbish and sort out my washing. I think we could safely say that the washing is overflowing. Goodness me, I am so hot and sweaty. Yeah, a bit red faced. Right, um, I managed to do all of the kitchen and the utility, which has taken, I don't even know how long actually, probably a good couple of hours. So utility, I've just cleaned all down the sides. I've put this map down. I bought this ages ago um, and couldn't find a use for it, but I actually really like it there. I think that looks really nice. Spent ages on the sink. I don't know why, but it forms so much line scale and it just looks awful. So yeah, I've spent ages doing that. Cleaned up, I've done all the floors. My washing load has just finished, so I'm gonna get that on the line and then I've got another washing load to go on. 
I have cleaned all of the dining table. I've got more washing to put away and I also need to put air away. And then I've done the whole of the kitchen, which looks a lot better than what it did this morning. So I am going to peg out a load of washing now, get that other load on. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea because I've still not had one and some breakfast. And then I think I am going to just sit down for an hour, watch the rest of Love Island. Um, Cause I kind of watch it the day afterwards. I can't be bothered staying up that late. Sometimes I do. But yeah, I'm going to watch Love Island. And then I think, um, I'm going to tidy up the living room and then I think I'm going to leave upstairs for tomorrow. I do need to put some washing loads in piles and put them away. But as in doing the bathrooms and things, I think I'm going to leave it for tomorrow because the house now is really, really hot. Um, we get so much heat from the conservatory and obviously there's no door so it all comes in. And yeah, it makes the house very hot. So... And I know upstairs is normally hotter than down. So I am going to leave that, I think, for tomorrow. I don't know what my plans are for the rest of the day. Um, I would like to go. I'm sure it's the next sale today because I have my notification and I ordered some bits online. Um, and I've got a feeling it's in store from today. Now, whether I do that today or not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make myself a drink now and just chill out for a bit and cool down. Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better To settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left Right, I can't remember where we last Where I last left you That's really bad, isn't it? Anyway, my husband has very kindly built the unit I bought Which, thankfully, just fits Because I didn't measure but Yeah, it just about fits Um and then I'm going to fill this now with all of my makeup, hair products, toiletries, things like that. So start, I think, I'm hoping that straighteners and things will fit. I know straighteners will, I'm not sure about my hair dryer. Hopefully it'll fit in the bottom. I've also got some things to line. So I bought two of these, which I thought were quite good. They're just rubbery. And then, I bought a load of these for like my makeup and stuff. Excuse the state of my bedroom. It's bed washing day. My bedroom's looking at absolute state to be honest with you. But um, 
I thought I'd get this done because at the moment I've got a unit just over here that is broke and that's taking up room in my bedroom at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna start filling this, I think. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Okay, so so far I filled up this tray. I bought this a while ago. I absolutely love it. Um, just been using it downstairs, but find a better usage for it. So I've completely filled that up. And then bottom drawer, I've got all of my hair things. And then I've got my drawer full of hair products. Yeah, I know a lot. Oh dear. And then this drawer has kind of got like skincare, moisturizers and things like that. And then I'm just about to start on this drawer. I've got Morton Brown mini goodies in there. Cotton pads, as you can see, I've emptied it quite a lot. A few more bits in there and then that needs emptying. And then in the window, that is full of my makeup. That is gonna be going in here as well, so. Yeah, I'm pleased the way it's looking so far. Absolutely love this unit. I will link it below if anybody's interested. But it stores so much. I'm really shocked, actually. So let's carry on. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. The sky is falling down. I've just about finished but I am going to need some more storage bins for inside because I really don't like hair that's just all shoved in but I've run out so it's gonna have to do for now so this isn't organized at all just chucked in uh, loads of little bits in here and then and this is empty so storage for more things this is all my makeup I do have more makeup somewhere. Um, I think it's downstairs in a box. I could do with sorting through that and adding to it. And then I've got all my moisturizers. And then this is all skincare products, moisturizers, etc. I think I've already shown you these hair products. And then all my hair styling tools. So yeah, I'm really pleased the way it looks sticks out over the other box a bit but it doesn't matter it's just in a wardrobe fits in there perfectly and yeah I've got all of my wardrobe space down there my husband keeps his clothes in the other actually no he's got some at the very end of the wardrobe so yeah I'm liking how it looks so I thought I would just put on this mask. Um, I showed this in my previous video. This was from Home Bargains and it was only 99p. I'm interested to try this because a lot of these are really wet and this says semi-dry no mess, which sounds right up my street. Ooh, it's very different.
Wow, looking lush.